Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today, I'm going to be talking about my driving test because I had my driving test the other day and it didn't go... It didn't go too well. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop 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 coming. So if you don't know already, I don't think I've mentioned it in a video, but I have been learning to drive for just over a year. I think I started in August 2017, and yeah, I've been learning for just over a year. And you know, I'm fairly competent, you know, I can do all the, all the stuff you kind of need, all the stuff you should need to be able to do in a test, driving around. You want me to pull over on the left? <laughs> Fine, let's go! I, 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 can in, I can in the driving lessons. Should I add? So the night before my driving test rolls around, I think it was the 16th of October originally, just had my driving lesson that day, I was like, yes, I fucking got this. Then I get an email. Saying this. We are sorry, but your driving test has been rearranged to the 9th of November due to the fact that your driving instructor is ill. Oh, is he fucking really? Oh, well, thanks for that. For the sake of this video, we're going to call him Tyrone. So Tyrone can't do my driving test because he has, and I quote, the flu. Really, Tyrone? You literally sit in a chair, trust me to drive. I mean, that's a bit of a... I mean, I mean, I failed my driving test, so I mean, maybe that might be a bit of a more daunting task than I originally thought. So the night before the test rolls around again, and thank fuck, Tyrone seems to be okay. Yay! He hasn't emailed yet and said, ooh, ooh, feel a bit, ooh, not feeling too good. Yeah, because if you did that again, Tyrone, I'd probably drive around there, even though I don't have a driving license, I'd, I'd fucking, I'd, I'd drive around in my parents' car, they'd probably kill me. Drive straight into the building and uppercut you out of the fucking door. So, it's a good thing you were feeling okay. So anyway, now for November rolls around, I get to test sense. I'm like, yes, I fucking got this. I just had a driving lesson before, and actually, no, I wasn't feeling pumped because the driving lesson went fucking off. It went genuine. I don't, I don't think I've ever drove, 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 drove it. I fucking can't speak. For Christ's sake. You know, fingers crossed when I go in again, I don't lose all brain capacity on the day of the fucking test because, oh, it gets worse. It genuinely gets worse. So I get into the test center and I sit down in the waiting room with a few chairs around and stuff. I sit down there and I shit you not, there is a poster in the waiting room which says something like, there's 50 million driving crashes a year. Don't let one of them be you. Are you sure that's the sort of thing you want to be saying to someone when they're literally going in to do a fucking driving test? Oh, jeez, for that. I was actually thinking I'm a driving test. I might just pick out a brick wall and just drive right in. Well, actually, halfway through my test, I was contemplating it. So we get outside the test center. I'm there with the examiner. We're fucking, we're going. We're like, yes, we got this, Tyrone. Let's fucking, can you stay back a little bit though? I don't really want to get, get flu. Oh uh, yeah, can you stop coughing, please? For fuck's sake. So he simply goes to me, Javen, that license plate over there, can, can, can you read that to me? <laughs> yeah, you know what, Tyrone, I fucking got this. Let's read this license plate. Okay, so it's, um, okay, it's, um, a, a A A R A M um A A R ten A A R ten one Um Uh Um I couldn't fucking read the license plate for fuck's sake. So I get in the car, get my seatbelt on, start the engine, clutch up, and we're fucking off. And for the for the first part of the lesson, it goes pretty well. I was actually fairly confident that I could fucking smash it. So here's where it starts to all go tits up. So I was turning around a corner at a junction, and there wasn't a long road up until like the roundabout. I could hear it was kind of making a bit of a noise in second gear. So I put it up to third gear, and I got to the roundabout, and it was clear. So I went straight on, which isn't a problem, you know, if, it, if the roundabout's clear, it's fine to just, you know, roll on. I kept it in third gear, for fuck's sake. I stalled on the fucking roundabout. <laughs> Possibly the worst spot you can possibly stall on. So at this point, I'm freaking out. I eventually get set off again. Everything seems to be fine. I'm like, okay, fucking hell. That's not a fail. It's fine. Fucking hell, my computer is making noises. Can you shut the fuck up? And you know, I'm driving down the street, I'm doing everything fine. And the sat nav, because it was independent driving at this point, so the sat nav was telling me what to do. The sat nav tells me to take the second left. I'm like, yes, okay, not that left, we got this. This left, indicate, turn in, we got this. But here's where I did ultimately fail the test. As you know, if the instructor has to intervene at any point, put the brake on or anything like that, grab the steering wheel, that sort of stuff, it's an, it's an instant fail. You fail the test. And 
It's, you know, it's such an annoying thing that I failed on. For the street I was on, the junction markings on the road was re to be fair, were really, really shitly painted on. They were like almost grey. But I was coming up to the junction and I just I went I went I went to drive straight across because I didn't see it was a junction. I thought it was like my my right of way. Drove right across and the instructor Fucking slammed on the brakes, didn't he? Fucking slammed on the brakes. But yeah, we got back to the test center and yeah, I, I I failed. I wasn't really expecting anything else. If it was on the 16th of October, I was probably I was I was feeling at least the night before I was feeling a lot more confident. And maybe when it got to the actual day of the test, I could have been just a shit. I, I don't know, I might have been a bit better. I don't I, I, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below as well if you got your driving test too. If you had your driving test, let me know how you actually did in yours. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have then make sure to like down below guys and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time see you later